We start with a story from Madhya Pradesh that will shake you up in disbelief. A minor boy and a minor girl, both from Dalit families, were allegedly beaten to death while they were defecating in the open. The gruesome incident is from the state's Shivpuri district, some 300 kilometers from capital Bhopal. The children were mercilessly beaten to death for defecating on a street in front of the Panchayat building. This happened around 6.30 a.m. earlier today. The two children, identified as Roshni, who is 12 years of age, and Avinash, barely 10, suffered serious injuries and were rushed to the district hospital where the doctors declared them brought dead. The victims and the accused, Hakim Yadav and Rameshwar Yadav, belong to the same village. Both the accused have been arrested. Before attacking the minors, the accused clicked photographs on their mobile phones and one of the accused told the police that he killed the two as he was quote-unquote commanded by the god to kill demons. क्या उम्र है इनकी ये लड़के की है सर 12 साल ये 10 साल है और लड़की की 12 साल है एक ही लड़का था साहब मेरे कितने बजे की घटना है ये सुबह से 6 बजे की घटना है सर एक ही बेटा था आपका एक ही लड़का है साहब दो लड़की थी उनसे कोई रंजिश वगैरह कोई रंजिश नहीं थी सर बस वही खेत में गए थे खेत में नहीं गए सर वो तो रोड पर लेटरन कर रहे थे तो उनको लगा खेत पे आए हमारे खेत तो उनका बागड़ से अंदर है खेत तो उनके खेत में नहीं पकड़े हुए हैं वो पकड़े साहब एक से 8 गए यदि वो दोनों ने पकड़ लाई ए सो नंबर गए यदि दोनों ने रख लाई है दोनों को पकड़ लाई सर well, the deceased boy's father, Manoj Balmiki, alleged that they were facing discrimination over their caste in the Bhav Kedi village. He claimed they were allowed to draw water from the village hand pump only after all other locals did so. और जो भी अकीकत है वो बाद में सामने आ जाए। दो लोग थे कि एक था क्या रहा? अब वो अभी दो का बता रहे हैं। बच्चे बेटी की उम्र है 12 साल और बेटे की है 10 साल। आरोपी पकड़ में आ गए हैं? आरोपी के प्रयास जारी हैं। ऐसे साब में दलवल के मौके पर ही हैं उधर ही। बहुत ही मानवीय कृत्य है और बहुत इस उनकी डेथ हो गई कि उन ये साढ़े छः के आसपास की घटना है सुबह पकड़ा भी गया है पुलिस का स्ट्रीम लेके बाकी पूछताछ कर रही है और अभी जो तात्कालिक कारण ये आया है कि वो अपने घर से उनका घर और मतलब जो मृतक लड़का है वो मृतक लड़की है आपस में बुआ बतीजे तो लड़का और लड़की ये जा रहे थे रोड पे थे रोड पे ही इनका कहना था कि ये शायद सोच कर रहे सोच के लिए बैठे थे और इतने में ये आरोपी गण आए तो इन्होंने इनको उस बात को मना किया और मारपीट चालू कर दी उनके सिर पे चोट आई now, BSP Supremo Mayavati, she launched a scathing attack on the BJP and the ruling Congress over the killing, calling it unfortunate. She slammed the successive governments in Madhya Pradesh for failing to provide proper toilet facilities. In another tweet, she said the Congress and the BJP governments should explain why proper toilet facilities have not been provided in the houses of poor Dalits and backward communities. If this truth is very bitter, she says, then those who beat to death the Dalits for being forced to defecate in the open should be hanged. Strong words coming there from Mayavati. Let's talk about what exactly has happened, this shameful incident. We keep hearing about Dalits uh, being beaten to death, being uh, mistreated in various parts of the country, but this is seriously hitting a new low. Here with me in the studio is Dr. Neelam Gupta, founder of the RO Foundation, Dr. Gulrez Sheikh joining me from the BJP, uh, Anuja Kapoor, who's an advocate, Dr. Kaushal Pawar, she's a Dalit activist. She's also here in the studio. And L. Ravi Chandar, political analyst. Thank you all of you very much for joining me. Uh, Dr. Neelam Gupta, your first thoughts when you hear about an incident like this. Uh, lynched for open defecation. There are two problems here. One is the issue of open defecation. And second, uh, the caste discrimination that we keep talking about every day in the 21st century. And that's really uh, something which, uh, I don't know, it's difficult to understand. Hmm. Yeah, Sana. First uh, thought that comes to my mind is that it's a national shame. You know, on the one hand, we are going to moon, we are projecting such a progressive image, we are going all over the world uh, with, uh, you know, meeting leaders and having our presence felt in the world as a progressive nation. And back home, we are having such a shameful incident where, you know, just because a person is so-called lower caste, 
you know, they are killed. They are, there are atrocities on them. And there is a huge uh, caste discrimination which is still existing in our country. And that is happening, you know, when uh, 150 years of Mahatma Gandhi's uh, uh, birth anniversary we are celebrating here. And, and uh, the nation is, you know, untouchability. We are untouchability. You know, you are trying to remove untouchability. And also you are saying that we have made India 100% defecation free. You know, it is, it, is a, it is a national shame. More than that, I cannot say anything. Mm. Every day we are seeing atrocity on Dalits or so-called lower castes. I will tell you, you know, uh, the first and foremost thing mm. that you see in villages is you have a separate area for uh, Dalits, which is yes. called a Balmiki Adda. I mean, why so? Why should they be put in a separate place in a village? They are not allowed to take water from the So you're saying uh, this is sources. national shame. Dr. National Pamar, shame. Uh, there are several things. Now, two people have been arrested. One of them, uh, the police says, is uh, mentally uh, unstable. That's one thing that they're saying. Now, uh, what do you think exactly happened? Is, is it something to do with Dalit? Was it personal enmity? Because one account also says that the father of this uh, uh, girl, he actually went across and had some tiff with uh, these men who actually ended up killing these two uh, young boy and girl. What, what do you think exactly has happened over here? Baba Sahib Ambedkar said that the people in our village, in Bharat, are the people of God. ये उस वक्त जब बाबा साहब ने कहा था और आज हम 21वीं सदी में हैं आज भी ऐसे का ऐसा है यहां से मैं अपनी बात की शुरुआत करना चाहूंगी जी हमारे यहां का जो कास्ट हायरार्की सिस्टम है वो न सिर्फ अपर और लोअर है बल्कि विद इन दलित विद इन ओबीसीज भी है आप ये देखिए अभी आपने जो जब बता रहे थे आप और इस घटना को जब हम पढ़ते और देख रहे हैं तो इसमें यादव समुदाय के जो आदमी हैं उन्होंने उनको मार दूसरी चीज ये कि जो वाल्मीकि कम्युनिटी है ये तो दलितों में भी बहुत ज़्यादा नीचे पैदान पे हैं। इवन ओबीसी और दलित दोनों ही एससी एसटी ओबीसी दलित ही हैं। पिछड़ों के साथ भी कास्टिस्ट व्यवहार होता है, शोषण होता है उनका भी ऐसे ही आप नीचे दलितों के अंदर भी। लेकिन ये देखिए कि ये जो वाल्मीकि कम्युनिटी हैं, इसको तो गया गुजरा ही माना गया है। तो क्या ये मतलब इंसान नहीं है? इंसान ही नहीं माना जाता। आप देखिए ना आपके बिल्कुल बगल में दिल्ली में आरएलए हॉस्पिटल में दो आदमी सीवर साफ करते हुए मारे जाते हैं मेडिकल में। ऐसे ही परसों मारे गए। कितनी अनगिनत घटनाएं हैं जहां वाल्मीकि समाज के लोगों को उस गड्ढे में उतार दिया जाता है और आपको हरानी होगी ये जानके सर्वे करवा लीजिए और मैं तो स्वच्छ भारत अभियान को बल्कि ये काम भी दे रही हूँ निवेदन कर रही हूँ बल्कि कि आप सर्वे तो करवा के देखिए कितने लोग इस कम्युनिटी के सिर्फ पांच सौ रुपए में और जो तेल होता है ना सरसों का तेल उसको लगा के उतार दिए जाते हैं गड्ढे में कितनी जहरीले गैस होती है मर जाते हैं आपने यहाँ पे एक स्वच्छ भारत अभियान की बात करी है मैं इसपे डॉक्टर गुलरेज शेख को लाना चाहूँगी डॉक्टर गुलरेज शेख यू टेल अस नाउ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज रिसीविंग द ग्लोबल गोल कीपर्स अवार्ड ही इज इन न्यूयॉर्क ही इज बीन फिलिसिटेटेड बाय द मिलिंडा गेट्स फाउंडेशन ही गोज ऑन द वर्ल्ड स्टेज एंड ही सेज दैट इन द लास्ट फाइव इयर्स वी कंस्ट्रक्टेड मोर देन 11 करोड़ टॉयलेट्स इंडिया ने ये किया इंडिया ने वो किया इंडिया जो है अपनी बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस पूरी दुनिया के साथ शेयर करेगा एक तरफ तो प्राइम मिनिस्टर हमारे ये कह रहे हैं दूसरी तरफ हम इतने इंटॉलरेंट हो गए हैं कि हम जाति के नाम पर दो छोटे बच्चों को जस्ट बिकॉज देर दलित्स विल किल देम सुना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम फ्रॉम द स्टेट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश एंड दिस इंसिडेंट द शेम एंड डार्क इज कॉट ऑन माय स्टेट एंड आई कंडोम इट इन द हाईएस्ट पॉसिबल वर्ड्स एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट आई रिक्वेस्ट मिस्ट uh, I'm not talking first about uh, caste and all those things, but they were kids, 10 years and 12 years old kids, they were beaten uh, by the Nazi. Uh, what, what the hell is going on? But has anybody society? from your party spoken for these kids? Yes. Has anybody questioned the Congress government? Yes, yes, yes. I personally, I have uh, raised this question and I have demanded the strongest possible action against, the, uh, against these people who have killed these kids. And uh, Sana, uh, yeah, let me tell you one, uh, one thing because uh, 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 when things happen in states like Uttar Pradesh or Delhi, they definitely come into the picture of media. But this state, in the state of Madhya Pradesh, the, uh, there is a uh, lot of uh, wrong things going on. As in the past few days, so many kids. So you are saying the Congress Party is to blame? Killed. 
Just well, Dr. Gurdrey's change, if you stay back, I have my second debate on what's happening in the Chinmayanand case. I would really okay, like no, to hear your thoughts on that. If you're yes, saying yes, this yes, is yes, only happening in the Congress government... Well. I will speak on both the issues. Okay, uh, fair enough. In, in, fair enough. In Let's talk to Anuja. Sir, Anuja, okay, I've heard you. I've heard you. You're very saddened and you condemn this. In past few days... Anuja, now the police is saying the IG police is coming on record and saying... One second, Dr. Sheikh, please, please. He's saying that one of these uh, accused is mentally unstable because he came out and said this is something that, uh, you know, was God's command and therefore I'm going to lynch these two 10 and 12 year old kids. Why do you think this is being done? Do you think this is a deliberate attempt to dilute charges against the uh, culprits? So in IPC, we have general exception. Uh, it's called an insanity. And that is what was being done. And, um, and as you know that um, uh, social media is really advanced and in villages also everybody is seeing a lot of serials and a lot of things are coming up. As a lawyer and as a psychologist, I will just put one thing. It is not about Dalit. It is not about anything. It is about the children who, are, who have died. Uh, we cannot dilute this situation. Law is for all. Article 14 tells that equality before law and, e and you have an equal right before law. We have to understand the basic structure of the law also. There are times when we dilute a law for our hmm. own good. And this is what we see. This is not about Dalit. It is not about Hindu. It is not about Muslim. It is about a law which has been um, uh, actually uh, been twisted and turned for their own personal good. Uh, when we talk about untouchability and all, it is just, you know, what, what's happening? It is just diluting the stuff. The children have been killed. They have been killed because they did not listen to the people, to, to the other kids around, whatever they were doing or what they not they were doing. It was something which was a friction of second which is happening with them. And you know what they are hmm. seeing is the mirror image which happens in the village, which you you see you see you know they are children. Okay, um, I uh, when I talk about uh, the child psychology, uh, they are just mimicking what they are seeing the oldest doing. It is not about this, they are what the olders are doing in that village, what's happening around, what they are listening, what they are talking. They, 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 how do they, how do, how do they bring Absolutely. function? Absolutely, I mean it's not so their it fault about that they have to, have to go out and defecate doing. in the open. And you're absolutely right that, you know, charges being yeah. diluted, so laws being twisted, it's not the answer. At the end of the day, it's about the lives of these two young children. I, I know, uh, Dr. Pamar, you want to come in, but just one second. L. Ravi Chandar has been waiting patiently. Uh, L. Ravi Chandar, so sorry that you're back on my show again talking about the same subject. And, uh, you know, remember we were talking about what happened in Karnataka and Tamil Nadu just a few weeks ago. And that in itself was right. something which was very... Uh, <coughs> It was shocking and painful, but this is, uh, we are talking about two little children being killed for no fault of theirs and nobody really is up in arms. There is no movement in the country. Mayavati says that the culprits should be hanged, but come on, I mean, seriously, do we, do we punish uh, those uh, of these heinous crimes this way? Sana, I think you threw the questions very properly at the very beginning. You said there are two questions over here. One is about defecation in public and the second is about Dalits. Now the problem is this. When, are you able to hear me Sana? Hello? Yes, I can, I can. Please go on. Hello? Okay, yeah, yeah. So the problem is this. Uh, the two questions are both interrelated. The question is, does uh, the district where this incident happened is obviously not a open desification free district declared under any law in the country or any parameters. I don't know if this uh, toilet ek prem khata ended in this uh, sad tragedy whether the families have toilets or not. If families do not have toilets, then any kind of killing, whether it is Dalit or non-Dalit, government will take the blame. Because under Article 21, the right to life, I believe includes right to dignified living and having a toilet in every house ensured by the powers that be is a part of the guarantee under Article 21. One. Two. 
Now, so far as these children are concerned, I think surprise, shock, stunned, these are all such, such inadequate expressions for something so barbaric. Uh, I do not think it should be happening right. in, in, in any barbaric society either. So, I think yes, while it is tragic that I come back to talk about Dalit uh, tragedies in our country on your show, I am not surprised that these incidents are spoken of at length. Thank you for at least focusing on this right. and talking about it when other channels mm -hmm. must be talking. And thank God, you know, place. Mr. L. Ravi Chandra, so that we don't have visuals. Yes. We understand that these two people who were accused, they took some pictures as well. Yes. But those pictures are not out in the media and uh, maybe it, it should be that way. But Dr. Neelam Gupta, what's the solution? I mean, we're looking at two thank problems. You. One, we, uh, you know, are fighting against. Uh, closing comments, closing comments now very quickly, 30, 30 seconds. One we're fighting against, the other we seem to be getting nowhere. In fact, we continue to play politics over it. Yeah, the m best solution would be to restore law and order. You know, that is very important. The fear is important. We are seeing that only poor, ignorant and, you know, people sometimes are superstitious are being targeted and they are being killed. Reports say that 60% hmm. of the crimes happen against, you know, people who are oppressed, who are Dalits hmm. or who are so-called weaker section of society. Yes. So, how can we protect the weaker section? It can only be through regulatory mechanisms. It can only be through law and order. Sure. Government has to have very strict regulations on such crimes hmm. and only then we can prevent, especially in the rural section. Ji, Dr. Pawar. मैं पहले तो ये कहना चाहूँगी कि एडवोकेट साहिबा ने जो कहा उनकी बात से मैं बिल्कुल एग्री नहीं करती कि अनटचेबिलिटी का सवाल नहीं है डायरेक्टली अनटचेबिलिटी है डायरेक्टली कास्टिज्म है नंबर वन टू कि ये जो जो हरारकी सिस्टम है ये हमारे माइंडसेट का सवाल है हम लोगों के अंदर इतने गहरे से धसा हुआ है कि हम ये बर्दाश्त नहीं कर पाते कि एक बच्चा अगर मान लो कुछ किया भी है गलत किया है मैं भी मान रही हूँ नहीं करना चाहिए था उनको लगता है कि उनकी आस्था को ठेस पहुँची है लेकिन ये अधिकार आपको किसने दिया है कि आप उसको जान से मार दें दूसरी बात मैं ये कहना चाहती हूँ कि हमारा जो जो सिस्टम जिस तरीके का बना हुआ है वो डेल्यूट करने की कोशिश करता है हमेशा वो उस बिंदु को नहीं पकड़ना चाहता मैं सिर्फ स्वच्छ भारत अभियान की बात नहीं कर रही मैं निर्मल भारत अभियान की भी बात करूँगी जो पिछले दिनों चलाया गया तो उसके बाद एक्सटेंशन स्वच्छ भारत अभियान के नाम से हुआ शौचालयों का क्या हाल है हम सब जानते हैं कि कितने शौचालय बने कितने नहीं अभी डॉक्टर नीलम गुप्ता ने कहा लॉ एंड ऑर्डर अच्छा होना चाहिए लेकिन हम मैं, मैं, कास मैं जो कहना चाहती हूँ तो, सिस्टम पे जब हम पॉलिटिक्स खेलते रहेंगे तो उसको खत्म कौन करें असल में क्या है की पॉलिटिक्स खेल के ही तो हम उसका सोल्यूशन नहीं चाहते चाहे वो बीजेपी की की गवर्नमेंट हो या कांग्रेस की हो माइंडसेट बना हुआ है हम मैं जो कहना चाहती थी मैं ये कहना चाहती थी कि दलितों को वाल्मीकियों को इन सारी चीजों से ऊपर हटके ला एंड ऑर्डर तो काम करता ही है लेकिन अपने आप का एजुकेट करने की जरूरत है अपने राइट्स की जानकारी होनी चाहिए आप टू का एक्ट उठा के लिए देख लीजिए मैनुअल स्कंजिंग में जितने वाल्मीकि मारे गए जितने समुदाय इस समुदाय के प्रति जो घृणा है लोगों में किन पनिशमेंट मिली किसी को ये छोड़िए ना अभी आज ये भी न्यूज आई है कि जो बुलंदशहर लिंचिंग कॉप कॉप लिंचिंग केस में जो मेन अक्यूज थे उनको तक बेल में बाहर छोड़ दिया है तो यहाँ पे कहीं ना कहीं आई थिंक इट्स द पॉलिटिशियंस हु मस्ट बी आंसरेबल व्हाट यू थिंक अनुजा कपूर व्हेन इट कम्स टू द लॉज आर लॉज स्ट्रिंजेंट इनफ we keep talking about cases of lynching but we don't have anything concrete we cannot we we like i cited the example of this uh, bulanshar cop lynching case now the main accused is out on bail so who will be scared will this not actually propagate uh, and embolden the others and tell them that it's okay to go out and lynch you have to very well understand that again and a quick uh, i would say put it through lynching is what is happening when the people take the law in their own hands because they don't believe in the system they don't believe in the judiciary mm. in the administrative body they don't believe in the legislative body when they believe that they are the ones who's going to do the moral policing they are the ones who's going to take uh, bring the justice the quick justice uh, and and that is when the lynching happens the lynching happens also when the fake news travels but here if you see in this case what is happening is um the, the we have to see that was there was there were toilets which were there were the ngos were working and uh, uh, sensitizing the people around why to and how to use the toilets and why to no no you are saying had these things were, been from were happening, upper caste the would people? they be have treated in the same manner not at all if they were rich if they so were so open the defecation just what would be the target about it Sorry. 
I am saying open defecation just made them easy targets. Uh, yeah, you know what, what's happening is here in this case the defamation that uh, the defecation was happening outside and whatever it was happening. The problem is the they were not being trained enough to do where and how. And when we talk about the toilet systems and all, why they should be used, that what is the sanitization, why them. and what are the good needs and bad needs. Mm. And when the people who are doing this, it's 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 like we are putting it into a Dalit Sana. thing. No, no. Look, are you saying that anybody and everybody who is defecating in the open is now going to be lynched? lynched? And they are easy targets and they don't Sana. know how to uh, you know, defecate in Sana. the open. This is what is happening. Okay, just, this is what is happening. Just hang on. Yes, this is what is happening. They are p they are picking up the people. Okay, okay. They are maybe, picking up maybe, the people but who are, are talking about uh, another you know, complex they, they, they issue. They the up. caste system, which is undeniably quite prevalent in our society. Sana? No matter how much uh, you uh, you know uh, deny that. Sana. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm running Sana? out of time. Sana. Sana? Raise shift very quickly. Then I will go to Mr. L. Ravi Chandar. See, the Asana only remedy to all these problems is the law and order must be enforced. And right now, there is a, a lack of a law and order in the state of Madhya Pradesh. The government must manage the law and order or it, it must quit. And if they are not able to manage the law and order situation, then so the BJP is better than the law and order. Do you have <laughs> statistics to prove that? That when the BJP was in power, there was better law and order? Yes, it was definitely a better law and order. Uh, there was no abduction industry of kids happening. There were not, no, not, uh, not so many uh, lynchings going on. In past few days, so many lynchings so had Dr. been Dr. So many kids happening once. Orders. If you for once had tried to put politics out of this and acknowledge the problem and said that, you know, as the opposition in the state, you're going to work towards ensuring that Madhya Pradesh is going to be a safer place for Dalits. So I would have got that argument. A senior, advocate, Chandra, is closing with, comments from a senior you. advocate is sitting with us. You yeah. tell me why. Sana, just two ask things, her Sana. If uh, in one day 53 DSP level officers are being transferred and another day 43, uh, 48 of those are That happens. Uh, that's uh, that's oh, yeah, yeah, transfers. Bureaucratic transfers oh, happen. What happens all the time, Dr. Gulraj Sheikh? Come on. El Ravi Chandra, Sana, very quickly. Sana, Sana. Like that, Sana. Two, let's look at the whole scenario. Two Dalits, two Dalits, two Dalits in an act of ultimate Dalit shame kids. are killed, Dalit kids. lynched. Right. And can, lynched, lynched. Hmm. So, and hmm. what are we talking? We're talking about Chief Minister's resignation. Now, this is the kind of politics we have in our country. Now, Rajasthan, the other hmm. day, you, you carried a story on being the first state in the country Ravi, to have an anti-lynching law. What should we Why do as an opposition? Please it's listen. A, That's a good a, beginning. It's our duty to hand responsible I think you and the, and the government. <coughs> well, Dr. Gurdjieff, please state. let Mr. El Ravi Chandar talk. We have to end the show as well. And it's great to know that you uh, acknowledge that lynchings happen. And uh, uh, yes. Mr. El Ravi Chandar. Yeah, so I'm saying lynching must stop. Resignation theories, this is not the time. Congress can put its head down in shame. It talks about lynching across the country. What is it doing in its own backyard? It... Come on, yeah. why don't you stop and let me talk? Because I am you keep your political I certificates elsewhere. All this, Sana. How many people are being abducted every day? How many kids are being killed? How many ladies are being raped? Uh, it's the way lynching is going on. Lynching is never going to end. 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 Lynching yeah, yeah. And you know, I don't believe in sound being an alternative to light in an argument or heat. So I'm only saying if we can go back after a few months to find out what's happened with the prosecution, I think it will be a great step forward. We'll really find out whether we just book cases and then as you pointed out in the other case, they were let out on bail. Is that happening or is the prosecution honest about it? Right. If we can go about bringing in a, some kind of transparency, we are one step ahead.
Right. Uh, I, I will, uh, you know, we will be tracking this case very closely and we'll see what happens to these two accused who've been arrested for the moment and uh, if there is a logical conclusion to this uh, very barbaric case that we've talked about. Thank you all very much for joining me on this uh, debate. After a break, we come right back and talk about the new twist in the Chinmayanand case. That's also equally, uh, if not more, bizarre. Stay tuned.